Today's parade consists of the RMA Fusiliers performing as the advance guard to the column of companies. The presence of band company represents the significant role that the fight, drum, and bugle have played throughout history for signaling both in garrison and on the battlefield. The location of the colors at the center of formation represents their presence at the forefront of regiments and squadrons during the heat of battle. The color guard of the Corps of Cadets includes an order from your left to right, the national colors, the Georgia State flag, and the flag of the Riverside Military Academy Corps of Cadets. The ceremony today is a recognition of the rocks of Riverside Military Academy. The rock cycle is a four-week indoctrination phase that provides basic instruction on cadet life, close order drill, military customs, courtesies and traditions, uniform and room preparation, rank, structure, and physical training. An important objective of the rock phase is to instill self-discipline. Self-discipline is critical to the development of organizational skills, time management, and sound study habits. This phase is a period of adjustment and self-denial, during which rocks are trained to place the concept of duty above personal desires. Upon successfully completing the four-week rock phase, passing the required knowledge exam, and upon recommendation of their company commander and tack officer, rocks receive their company letter uniform insignia device, are recognized as cadets, and are welcomed into the Corps. Today's parade signifies their integration into the Corps of Cadets and their recognition as cadets. At this time, the battalion adjutant will direct the academy's band to sound off.
The procedure you are now seeing was once used by commanders to meet with their subordinate leaders. The colors mark the location of the headquarters. The headquarters are also the traditional location of the unit commander. For this reason, the unit colors are accompanying the unit leaders. In earlier ceremonies, once all had assembled, the commander would pass instructions to his subordinates. This meeting also gave the commander the opportunity to relay messages and other information that he did not think appropriate for the rank and file to hear. Join the Corps for an honor to our nation as the Riverside Military Academy Band plays the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of Riverside Military Academy, Colonel Jim Benson. Well, on behalf of the Board of Trustees and the faculty and staff, we're absolutely delighted to have you join us today for the Rock Review and the completion of the Rock Cycle. I'd like to acknowledge the special guests we have today, uh, notwithstanding the special guests of the parents of the Rocks, but I do want to recognize a gentleman who's visiting the campus for the first time since he graduated in 1947. Uh, retired Navy Captain Mo Hayes and his lovely wife. Would you please stand to be recognized, Captain Hayes? Well, today is, of course, a special day for our cadets. Uh, it's a special day to graduate from a recruit on campus and the not so wonderful title of rock to a cadet in the Corps of Cadets. And to the cadets, some of you now will pick up additional responsibility as you achieve rank and the leadership opportunities that go with that rank and responsibility. And I encourage you to seek it, to become a leader within the Corps, because leadership brings with it responsibility. And of course, the responsibility for the achievement of others and the opportunity to learn the lessons of accountability. There is no doubt you can, can succeed here. You can go to class. You can be a good student. You can graduate. But miss the opportunity to lead. The lessons of leadership will pay you. Be home with dividends in the years to come. Dividends that will serve you well as executives and for some of you military leaders of the future. Leadership within the Corps has a purpose. It's to teach you to assume positions of authority in later life. Author, author Peter Smith once read, or once wrote, in a fine book called The Quiet Crisis, that America has become a two-class society. And that society is not dependent on race or the wealth of your family. That class society is dependent on education. And this may or may not be true what Mr. Smith wrote, 
But it is true that the seats at the table of opportunity are inextricably tied to education. So education is the key to that gate that will someday lead to your success. And your family has given you a seat at that table. And I would tell you that you are one of the fortunate sons in our country today. Moreover, you are cadets at an institution that has produced a plethora of great leaders. An institution that a generous providence has seen to sustain for over a hundred years. And today, as you've been on the crest, I congratulate you as you follow the footsteps of the thousands who came before you. But as you depart today for a well-deserved break, I want you to remember that you are, in fact, your brother's keeper. So be the leader who steps up to ensure that the seat belts are buckled and that no one drives under the influence or above the speed limits. Our Georgia roads are very dangerous, maybe some of the most dangerous in America. So be strong, speak up. If another's judgment fails, be a leader, a caring leader. We want you back safe and sound. God bless and Semper Fidelis. The Riverside Fusilier is commanded by Net First Lieutenant Robinson Whitaker of Columbus, Georgia. The retiring staff is led by Net Lieutenant Colonel Turner Dowling. Kieran Kaiser from Snellville, Georgia. Please be seated. Fox Truck Company is commanded by the Captain City Babacar NDI from Dakar, Senegal. Golf Company is commanded by the Captain Victor Salcido from Durango, Mexico.
please rise and join us as the Riverside Military Academy Band performs their rendition of My Country Tis of Thee. <laughs> 